Rapunzel. Today we have a book named Rapunzel Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a young girl named Rapunzel. She was known throughout the kingdom for her long golden hair, which flowed like a waterfall down the tall tower she lived in. Rapunzel's story began many years ago when she was just a baby. Her parents, the king and queen, were filled with joy when she was born. But their joy quickly turned to sorrow when an evil witch, who had a deep grudge against the kingdom, put a curse on the young princess. The curse made Rapunzel's hair grow long and filled it with magical powers. To keep Rapunzel safe, the king and queen decided to send her to live in a hidden tower deep in the forest. They knew the witch would never find her there. The tower was so tall that it touched the sky, and it had no doors or stairs. The only way to enter the tower was through a small window at the very top. As the years passed, Rapunzel grew into a lovely young girl. She spent her days reading, painting, and singing songs that echoed through the forest. Her only company was the forest animals who visited her, and she named them all. There was Whiskers the rabbit, Feather the bluebird, and Fluffy the squirrel. She loved them dearly. Now, as the story goes, there was a brave and kind-hearted prince who lived in a neighboring kingdom. He had heard rumors of the beautiful girl with the long golden hair locked away in a tower. He was determined to find her and rescue her from her lonely life. One day, as he was riding through the forest on his white horse, he heard a sweet voice singing in the distance. The song was so beautiful that it drew him closer and closer to the tower. He followed the sound of the singing until he found himself standing beneath Rapunzel's window. Rapunzel had never seen a prince before, and she was both surprised and delighted when she saw him. She leaned out of the window, and her long hair fell down like a golden waterfall. The prince was captivated by her beauty and the enchanting sound of her voice. Who are you? he called up to her. Rapunzel was equally entranced by the prince's handsome face and gentle demeanor. I am Rapunzel, she replied, and I've been locked in this tower for as long as I can remember. Who are you, and why have you come here? The prince introduced himself and told her about his quest to find the girl with the long golden hair. Rapunzel's heart skipped a beat. She had never met anyone outside of her animal friends, and the prince's presence filled her with a mixture of excitement and fear. As they talked, the two young people grew closer and closer. They laughed, shared stories, and found that they had much in common. Rapunzel's beautiful singing voice enchanted the prince, and he vowed to come back every day to visit her. The visits from the prince became the highlight of Rapunzel's life. She looked forward to seeing him more and more with each passing day. As for the prince, he was falling deeply in love with Rapunzel. He knew that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. But there was a problem. The witch who had placed the curse on Rapunzel had discovered the prince's visit. She was furious and determined to stop the two from seeing each other. The witch knew that if Rapunzel's hair was ever cut, its magical powers would be lost forever. So, she came up with a wicked plan. One evening, when the prince arrived at the tower, he called out to Rapunzel as usual. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he cried. Rapunzel leaned out of the window and tossed her hair down for the prince to climb up. 
But as the prince reached the top, he was met not by Rapunzel, but by the angry wit. She held a pair of scissors in her hand, and before the prince could react, she cut off Rapunzel's long golden locks. Rapunzel cried out in pain and despair. The witch banished the prince from the tower, and he was forced to leave Rapunzel behind. She was heartbroken, and the tears that fell from her eyes were like drops of gold. Without her magical hair, she was left helpless in the tower. The witch, who had taken Rapunzel's hair for herself, cast the young girl out of the tower and into the wilderness. Rapunzel was left alone and afraid, with no idea of how to survive in the outside world. The years went by and Rapunzel roamed the land, her beautiful hair now short and ordinary. She often wondered what had become of the prince who had stolen her heart. She longed to see him again and to be reunited with the love they had shared. As for the prince, he had wandered the kingdom in search of Rapunzel. He had searched high and low, never giving up hope that he would find her once more. One day, as fate would have it, the prince and Rapunzel crossed paths in the forest. He recognized her instantly despite her shorter hair and she knew him as the one who had captured her heart. They ran into each other's arms, and their love was as strong as ever. The prince vowed to care for Rapunzel and make her happy for the rest of their days. And so, the two lived happily ever after, proving that even the most challenging trials and obstacles could not keep true love apart. The kingdom celebrated their union, and the love between Rapunzel and the prince was celebrated for generations to come. And there, my dear child, is the end of the story of Rapunzel. Now it's time to close your eyes and drift off to dreamland, where your own adventures await. Good night, and may your dreams be as magical as this tale. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.